All right, apparently my computer camera is a lot shittier than this one. Weird, right? So, this is just a follow-up on my last video, which I literally just posted, but then I started thinking. Surprise, surprise, right? There's nuances to, to things, always. And I was thinking about the the docile women that are afraid to voice their opinion or ask questions or do things because they don't want to make, you know, ripples in the water. And I was like, well, you know, there's times that I don't tell people things because I don't want to fucking start shit either. But that's, that's where I fucking figured it out, where it's like, when I don't tell somebody something, it's because I know for a fact that it's going to start shit. It's something I'd like to tell them or would tell them, but if I know it's going to start shit, I'm like, I don't even want to fucking deal with that. Now, of course, with that, I have to self-reflect and be like, okay, am I that unwilling of a person to have a communication with? No, I'm not. My clients love me to death. They communicate with me openly pretty much all the time, other than that one girl that gets afraid. So, I, I would have to, I have to say, no, I'm not a hard person to communicate with. Am I stern? Am I held pretty steadily on my boundaries of what I will and will not accept? Yes, yes, yes. But, no, I'm not. So then have to start thinking about all my theories and all my philosophy and all this stuff. It's yellow pants again. It circles back to fucking yellow pants again. You know, if I'm afraid to ask somebody, hey, do you want to go up to the store and then get offended that I didn't ask or hold resentment that we didn't go to the store, that's a me problem. That's not a them problem. However, when it becomes a them problem is when I know with a 100% certainty that they're going to start shit over. So if, let's say, okay, I want to go up to the store and I ask my buddy, hey, do you want to go up to the store? And I know for a fact, for a fact, that he's going to start shit, yeah, I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to build up resentment over it, though. I'm just going to be like, well, I'll just go with somebody else, go my own, whatever. The difference there is knowing for a fact that it's going to be problematic. And what makes it prob problematic? Like, let's just think about it rationally here. What makes it problematic? If they're acting like a bitch or an asshole, that's problematic. Duh. Or you perceive it to be problematic because it makes you un uncomfortable. So it, it, it still is problematic, but only to you. Not to everybody else involved. Not to interpersonal relationship. Well, it is. It does become a problem with that, but whatever. It's only problematic to you at that point. If you're too afraid to ask or too afraid to communicate properly, it's problematic by your own making. And this just confirms my old, honestly, it just, I thought it was like, yeah, I felt bad about myself for a little bit. I was like, you know what, shit, I haven't told some people some stuff sometimes. But that was because I knew it was a surefire 
way to start shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to get involved in this. I'm not going to start shit. Fuck this. But I know I'm not like that. So when I see these situations, I see it more from an outsider perspective. But that's a, that's a, that's a, <clears throat> what I see with, with, I don't know how you, I don't know how you fucking square the circle again. I really don't. I'm trying to think of something that can, like, kind of sum this up in an easy image. Yeah, all right, I got it. So you got a guy in basic training, and he's too afraid to pull the trigger on the rifle just because he's afraid. That's the person that's just afraid to make ripples. He's just afraid. The noise scares him, they... Everything's, everything about us scared him. And then you got the guy that refuses to pull the trigger because he knows the barrel's fucked up and it's going to backfire in his face. That's the difference. When I refuse communication, I know the barrel's fucked up and it's going to backfire in my face. But there's a lot of people that refuse communication just because they're afraid of the noise. I nailed it on that one. I'm going to get my... Pat on the back. I nailed it on that one. I'm, I'm taking the W. I'm eating it.